Welcome back to Let's Play Resident Evil 4's bonus campaign, Separate Ways. I'm Burning Dog Face. And last time, we finally made it to the castle area, though we kind of jumped ahead and ended up in the hedge maze. Uh, a couple things I wanted to know before I got distracted. Uh, I thought it was kind of funny that in uh, Wesker's... Uh, well, it showed Wesker bringing up some kind of file on Leon on his screen. And the picture of Leon in it showed him in his uh, Raccoon Police Department uniform. It really should have been RCPD, shouldn't it? Huh. You know, the outfit he was wearing in Resident Evil 4. I guess it's uh, a bit out of date. The other thing was, I uh, noted at the end of the cutscene that uh, after getting ordered to murder Leon, uh, Ada did this thing I have only ever seen in, uh, well, maybe not only ever seen, but I've seen it way more often than anywhere else in, well, stuff from Japan. There's a blinky thing here. Arrows. Take the bowgun bolts. Arg. Leave those there for now. Oh, man. Bowgun. Maybe I shouldn't have picked up the uh, TMP after all. Mmm. Or maybe I'll get really lucky and he'll have a, uh... Box upgrade. Welcome! Got a selection of good things on sale, stranger. What are you buying? Fuck yeah. Not enough cash, oh, right. stranger. What are you selling? It's bartering, that's how that works. Is that all, stranger? <laughs> Thank you. And just like that, I can afford it. Wait, uh, yeah, all three. Uh, before we get into that, the other thing I wanted, the other thing I wanted to, yeah, the thing I wanted to mention was specifically after being ordered to kill Leon, she looks off at that room over there where the, uh, she encountered him, and uh, she does that thing where she makes a statement consisting entirely of another person's name. I see that a lot in like anime and uh, such. I guess the Japanese can put an awful lot of nuance into just a person's name because she just looks over there and says. Leon. What are you selling? Ah, I'll buy it at a high price. <laughs> Thank you. What are you buying? Balls! Look how awesome that is! I don't even know what that would do. Is that all, stranger? <laughs> Thank you. Is that all, stranger? <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I just totally realized the joke I should have made one, one, at one point. Buying? Go to like buy the attaché case and go, ah, I'll buy it at a high price. Bowgun bolts. Okay. I don't know if I could fit a bowgun in here, no idea what its dimensions are, but... Someone let me know what... oh. Well, this is unfortunate. Oh god!
Oh, I see. Get out of my way. You took up these bullery dudes. This is probably the first time I've ever explicitly seen them ignoring the merchant. <laughs> it's not that funny. Well, I was worried that these guys would be ludicrously superhuman, given how strong the uh, villagers became. Offhand, I'd say I won. Nice throw! God damn! He has no pupils. I wonder if that means he's going to have a thing lob out of his head. Ah! I cracked the code! I remember, I mentioned last time, I remember someone saying that uh, you can tell what uh, which guys are going to transform in the color of their eyes. Same source incidentally said that, uh, contrary, contrary to popular belief, it doesn't matter if you kill them with headshots or not. Uh, you know, I think I've seen this myself. Uh, shit. If a guy is going to transform, he will always transform, even if you kill him by shooting him in the foot. Are you, you face hug hugger looking son of a bitch? Jesus, that creeps me out. Worth it. I don't think I need any of that, but I guess I could sell the extras. Or use them. Let's try using them. I just don't know what to do with this bow gun. Is it a precision weapon? Should I sell the uh, sniper rifle and go for that? Honestly, I find this a bit less stressful than when it had... Uh, Tentacle holes in it. <laughs> Fuck yes, take the yellow herb. Like, I know the way these guys work. I can deal with these guys. Sup? That one is a whiff. Come on! Man, that's ugly.
You got the gold bangle with pearls. Where did you go from? Come on, don't drop anything. Unless I do not seeing anything. My goodness, that's unpleasant to look at. All those flailing limbs. And he drops something. Ah, oh, nuts to it. Not worth the. They both dropped something. I didn't know that could happen. I was starting to say earlier, uh, yeah, if it is a like precision weapon, then I will totally get rid of the sniper rifle just to experience that. Because uh, I don't know if that was a secret weapon or in the main campaign, or if they just made it up for this one. Either way, we know how a sniper rifle works, and, uh, I'm pretty sure Assignment Ada starts with, uh, that weapon in your inventory. Not the, uh, bow gun, I mean, the semi-automatic sniper rifle. Hey, sup? No suplex. I didn't really think there would be one, but... Goodness. Well, you're going to turn into one of those things. No, let's not do that. I find it kind of stupid that you kill the uh, body by shooting the parasite, and then the parasite comes off anyway. I mean, I assume you can eventually kill the body by shooting it, but you know. I've been hit here yet. For the sake of variety. Where the fuck am I going, anyway? Oh, I see. I need to get out through the door that, uh, Leon used to get in here. First, I want to murder every last one of these sons of bitches.
By the way, I'm guessing that, uh, canonically, Leon took the path with the many, many Ganados in it. It's the only way I can figure out to explain, uh, Ada being able to take out that, uh, Gigante in the path earlier. Bow gun. You know, like hookshot, it just seems odd. Alright, since I'm heading back there anyway, let's go get to uh, take those and uh, sell them to the merchant. Oh, that's why you can't just climb over, because there are spikes inside the uh, hedge. I wonder if this is... No, this would be after Leon cleared the maze of, uh... This is not where I expected to end up. Cleared the maze of, uh, tentacle dogs. I think. Pretty sure you had to clear that in order to get into the room where, uh... Yeah, yeah, you found the... Uh, it was one of those stupid puzzle locks. That's how you got into the, uh... Room where he met Ava. Ada, sorry. These bolts have been specially treated with explosive chemicals to give them destructive power rivaling grenades. Well. Fuck, that sounds really useful. I just don't have the space for a bow gun. What are you selling? Is that all street? <laughs> Thank you. And it's not a tiny amount of money. On the plus side, I've also got a surplus of healing items, so... I'm gonna hang on to these, but I don't know if I'm ever going to get the gun. I can just do this. I think it was right about here that uh, Salazar got in touch with us for the first time. And. Three typewriter! Word of advice, buddy. One shot, one kill. Words to live by. In fact, he gave me an extra bullet to take care of your friend here. Oh, I remember back. 
bad things happening here. So Leon has been through here. Well, before I do anything, I'm going to take a look in this room. Huh. Come on! I deliberately avoided the middle, for that exact reason! Well, this is unfortunate. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play Resident Evil 4. Separate Ways. I keep fucking that up. <coughs> of Let's Play Separate Ways, the bonus campaign for Resident Evil 4. There. And, uh... Hopefully I'll be able to take out that uh, asshole in front of me. In fact, you know what? There. Later.